extreme I don't know. and when it goes wrong it can be catastrophic. Chris from Keithley was tackling the rocks in the Yorkshire Dales when he fell 40 foot. He's recovering now and uh, he is here to tell us all about it. First though, let's see the moment where it all went wrong. Ooh, incredible pictures. What's it like for you watching that back again? Um, I've watched it quite a lot of times now, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, it took a couple of weeks to like pluck up the courage to actually watch it the first time. And I think my parents it took a, a couple more weeks after that before they actually watched it. But uh, yeah, it's yeah. The story is on the Helicopter Heroes tomorrow. Yep, um, tomorrow Chris, morning. Um, and it was quite a tricky rescue. Just talk us through it, if you would. Yeah, where well, I actually landed it was um, quite a quite a nasty bit of outcrop of rocks. Um, the helicopter couldn't actually get to the base of the cliff, so they had to mm -hmm. land at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, and the land ambulance came from the bottom, um, so they had to like climb down through the rocks to get you to me. You just get a sense of how difficult it is there for, the, for them to get to you. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly the, I didn't pick a very good place. <laughs> I mean, it, I, it, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't anticipate that happening, but I, I mean... see your bike there now, but uh, it must have been... How, how did you feel at that moment? Were you aware of what was happening or not? I felt a little bit stupid, to be honest. Uh, it hadn't even crossed my mind, like, you know, obviously, like, I had, you know, it might look a little bit reckless on that little bit of video there, but, um, you know, I planned everything out and everything looked, you know, on paper and in my head looked like it were all going to go well. Um, so I did feel a little bit stupid when it went, you know, that way, really. And what about your injuries? What, what injuries did you um, sustain? Yeah, I landed on a bit of a, a rock and uh, I uh, broke, my, broke my femur pretty badly uh, and cracked the top of my radius as well. So they, uh, they popped a little screw in there, so that's popping, you know, that's bang on now is that, and uh, they put like a full length um, steel rod inside my femur and screwed that back together. Are you going to go back to doing that Can't kind of wait. thing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously like I've got to uh, get my head down now, you know, the uh, the bone's pretty strong now so that's nice and solid, so obviously I need to uh, get my head down over winter, put, you know, put the hours I in. Mean, you, let's, you do some pretty <laughs> hair racing stuff, don't you? Yeah, it's got to the point where it's getting a little bit sketchy, yeah. And you've been back, I mean, for those pictures, I, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what, what, it, it, Chris, I mean, what is it about, about the sport that you're um, I think it's just because I've been doing it for such a long time, you know, I don't even feel like I'm doing anything dangerous anymore. It's just like, you know, it's just logical progression, you know, you, you know when you're youth, you, you go up like little curbs and whatnot, and then you go up, a, you know, like a big wall, and then next minute you're jumping off cliffs, and, you know, ambulance is coming to pick you up. Brave or foolhardy, Tony? Brave. <laughs> 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 probably, well, Chris, thank goodness you're well, and uh, good luck with your recovery. Thanks for coming in. And you can see uh, the full story.